Hello everybody, my name is ToothPistol49, and uh, I am playing Mob of the Dead Zombies. Now, as you can see, I'm getting on this plane, but you might be asking yourself, how do you get on this plane? Well, I have the answer. I'm going to be going through step by step how to get all of the parts, uh, because they are a little bit different for each part. You, it's not just simply going around and picking it up. And also how to refuel the plane once you've already built it. So, stay tuned, and I uh, hope you guys enjoy. So, first things first, we need to get the Warden's Key. Now this key can be found either outside the cafeteria or at the Warden's office. Now here is the Warden's office, you just need to go into afterlife mode by shocking yourself, and jump up into one of these little portals, as you see here, and shock the, the little electric uh, whatever it is, and then go ahead and revive yourself and you'll be able to grab that key. Now it doesn't matter if you get all the parts in a certain order, it just matters that you do get them all. Um, so the first part that I'm going to show you is down here at the dock area. Uh, what you need to do is go into afterlife mode and shock this voltmeter. That way it'll open up the next door to grab the part. So once you shock it, you revive yourself and grab the part. Now if you're playing this co-op, the doors will actually close so you need someone else to shock it after you get the part. So that's something to keep in mind when you play solo, it is a little bit easier. For the next part, you're going to need to come into what I call the spiral room. It's underneath the, uh, I think it's the citadel tunnels, and unlock that little uh, combination door uh, with the warden's key, and then come up to the very top and you need to go into afterlife again. Um, a lot of these you do need to go into afterlife to do. Uh, and then you run down the tunnels and you'll see numbers, so there we have a 6. The next number will be a 9, and the one after that is a 2. It'll be different every single time you play but um, you just need to enter it in by shocking each uh, individual electricity meter, I guess, so 692, and that actually turns on this elevator, and you'll see it go down, and that brings the part down to where you can access it. So, just go back up to your character, revive uh, yourself, and uh, make sure you run down towards that part. Now, there is a timer, so you do have to be somewhat quick, it gives you about a minute. Um, the great thing about doing this solo though I should mention is that you can actually hold all of the parts on your own. When you play co-op you can only hold one part of the plane each, uh, so that's kind of a bummer. But when you play solo you can get them all on your own without having to go back up to the plane to build it on its uh, as you get each part. Alright, so the next part is located in the warden's office. Now what you need to do, uh, since the door is actually electrified and you can't get through it to unlock it, you need to come down here into this generator room. It's located beneath Juggernog uh, over at the docks, and um, you need to follow these blue wires once you go into afterlife mode, and shock the different uh, electric circuit boards on the walls. Now there's three of them, um, one of them you have to go through this uh, portal, and uh, once you get them all shocked, you can just revive yourself. As you see, they're no longer blue wires, so go ahead and revive yourself and make your way back to the warden's office. Once you're there, you're able to just walk right in, unlock the door, and grab your part. The next part is located in the showers. Now you need to unlock this door and then go into afterlife mode. Uh, the afterlife is located at the opposite side of that door. So go into afterlife mode and then come over to the vault meter right where you unlocked and go ahead and shock that and then you need to go revive yourself. And then once you're revived, you need to go back into that little room and there will be a washer. And you need to walk up to the washer and basically activate, activate it by holding X. Now this, uh, this is a little bit difficult, so I'd recommend trying to get this part done uh, earlier than later. But uh, as you see, that laundry machine activated. And you'll hear a laugh and a whole bunch of zombies will start coming. It lasts for about a minute or so. And uh, I'm going to speed it up here just to uh, just for the sake of time. But all you really need to do is just run circles in this room and uh, just be a little bit careful here and uh, round them up and then you can take them out. And then once once they're all taken out, you can go back and the part will be located inside the, log, the, the washer. Um, I don't really know what the part is. Supposedly it's, it's a shirt or something. I don't know why it would be used for making a plane, but you know what? That's just what it is. And uh, so, oh, looks like I got it right about here. So you walk up, pick it up, and that's our fourth part. Just one more to go. Now the fifth part is located upstairs in the infirmary. There's nothing special about it, it's just right here inside this cage. You can just go ahead and grab it, and I somehow missed it by uh, trying to get it in this gameplay. But go ahead and grab it, and that's all the parts you need for the plane. 
Now, to get upstairs to build the plane, you need to actually go into afterlife mode in that same room. This is some footage from earlier in the game when I actually went down. But uh, go through this portal, it's just right outside of that main room that you were just in. And you can hop up there and come and shock this door. That'll open the door and allow you to get upstairs to build the plane. All you need to do from there is just come upstairs and craft the plane. You just walk up right into the edge of the ramp and uh, hold X to craft the plane. Now when you're playing on solo, it just crafts all of the pieces at once. Now you're ready to fly the plane, so you just walk right behind it and you're able to hold X and you'll be in the takeoff sequence. It takes about 10 seconds to launch the plane, so make sure whenev whenever you're playing co-op that everyone hurries and gets in within the 10 seconds if they want to catch the plane. And you'll go ahead and shoot off and get over to the Pack-A-Punch. Once you're finished Pack-A-Punching all of your guns and you're ready get to get back into the map, just uh, come over to the electric chairs and shock yourself. This will send you back to spawn and you need to revive yourself. Uh, you'll be in afterlife mode once you come back, but uh, just revive yourself and you'll be all good. Now in order to start up the plane, um, you need to refuel it. Now you can't refuel it once you come back until you start the next round. So right now it's round 13, but when I kill this guy, you'll see that the uh, fuel can will come back. So just wait until round 14 and there's the fuel can. So you'll be able to... Uh, Go ahead and pick up all those. Now this is the fuel can in the warden's office. Um, they're all in the original spot. So there's the one in the warden's office. Uh, here's the fuel can in the showers. And um, here's the fuel can that spawns in the spiral room. Just right by this combination. Here's the fuel can that spawns at the dock. And here's the one that spawns in the upstairs infirmary. And once you have all of the fuel cans, you can bring it back to the plane and refuel it. Now when you're playing single player, you can bring all the fuel cans at once, but when you're playing co-op with two or more players, you have to bring each fuel can individually to refuel it. Well, I hope you guys found this video useful. It shows you exactly how to build the plane as well as refuel it. So if you're struggling on any of those parts, I really hope this uh, will help you. I know I was having trouble for a while, so I thought this might be really helpful if I would have seen it earlier. So uh, if you did enjoy the video, please hit the like button uh, so others can see. And if it did help you out, make sure you uh, leave a comment and just let me know. If you like these types of videos, you can hit the subscribe button to stay up to date if I come out with any more tutorials on this map. Um, I do also upload some Minecraft videos, so if you want to check those out at my channel, just uh, feel free to do so. Uh, but thank you so much for watching, and I hope you guys have an excellent day. See ya!